quarantine has lasted 27 days now. My friends are over there on the other side of the tallest mountain, but I can't get across because evil Dr. Corona is guarding them. <laughs> Cookie, you're a swell companion, but I miss my human friends. I wish I knew what to do. Hey, why don't you offer a sacrifice at the Lake of Inquiry? The Lady of the Lake might have an answer for you. Cookie, you're a genius. I have a handful of frozen magical peas I could offer. Excuse me, Traveler, do you know where I could possibly find the Lady of the Lake? I sure do, it's right over there. But remember, you have to be six feet away from other people. The lake can be a dangerous place. I'll remember, thank you. Please, Lady of the Lake, answer my question. How could I possibly be evil Dr. Corona to see my friends again? It's done, but how long until I hear back from the Lady of the Lake? I don't know about that, but I do know that it's bedtime. Let's cuddle and we'll worry about it in the morning. Good idea. Pig, and I've heard about your question. I've come with answers. Great, but I asked the Lady of the Lake, not you. We were having our virtual book club together and got talking. You know how it is. You should think about hanging out with your friends virtually, by the way. It's almost the same thing and is a great substitute for the real thing. Anywho, do you want an answer or not? Yes, of course. Behold, I will grant thee almost magical protection. If that's all you need, I'll be going. I have a virtual yoga class at nine. Thank you, thank you very much. And so it was that young Alice had the tools she needed to go out into the world and defeat the evil Dr. Corona, although she also had to stay home for a few more weeks because it was the right thing to do. She no longer felt powerless and found ways to visit her friends virtually, just like her fairy god guinea pig talked about, until the scientists and doctors said it was okay to go play in person again, and she lived happily ever after. <laughs>